everyone, it's Mrs. Michael Franklin here today. Uh, Cynthia Tiddley is on hiatus. She's on a vacation. Uh, so anyway, it's me here to talk to you today. I was very sick last week, okay? I was so sick that I had to go to the doctor. And I have not been to the doctor in decades. And I cannot stand going to the doctor that could explain why I haven't been in decades. Okay, but I had to go. And I'm not going to say, no, I'm not going to tell him, Franklin! Why I went to the doctor, that's not the point of this video. I want to tell you that the, the doctor had me strip off, okay? That means basically in doctor terms, get naked, okay? Now, I don't get naked for nobody but Mr. Hank Franklin, okay? And they didn't exactly ask me to get naked, but they did ask me to, to take off my clothes on, okay? And uh, stripped down to the brassiere and underwears. They gave me this tablecloth. Now, this is exactly what it looked like. They just, they just flopped it on the table. He was like, I'll be back in a few. Just put this on. Okay? He walks out of the room. Mrs. Uncle Franklin is left there by herself with this. Okay, so I open it up. And, and it keeps opening, I, I should say, okay? And, and maybe some of you who've been to the doctor recently know this, but it, it just keeps opening up. And, and so, I'm gonna cut to, now see, it keeps opening. There ain't no holes or anything. It's like a, it's like a, it's like they gave me, it's like they gave me a tablecloth for my body. And I don't know if it's two ply or three ply. Maybe I'm breaking up the plies and they ain't even supposed to see it. Maybe this is maybe this is the sheer side for for the women their doctor thinks is really sexy. I don't know. Is that what it is, or is this supposed to be together? And there are no instructions. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now I open it all the way, and here it is. Okay, it's like uh, I mean, it's like. We could be at, at like in Spain at the at the bull run or something if this were a different color, but they don't come in other colors because they want to see your bodily fluids popping, popping out of you. I'm sitting there alone, right? And I'm like, what the heck kind of business is? And Hanklin weren't there because he had to work. Hanklin shut the door. So I'm putting this on, and I, I got, I'm just sitting there in my brassier and my panties. My brassier and my panties. So, first I'm like this. Just, just holding it up like this. And then I was like, oh my god, he's gonna come in and like, check me. And so then I wrapped it around myself like a body towel, such as this. But then I was like, it's open, it's open in the back. Like for my tail or something, which I don't have. Which no one does, but it's like wide open and airy. Then I was like, maybe. You can see this right there, right? Okay. So then I was like, maybe I should just whip it around me. Like such, okay? But then it felt like maybe I should have a little bow tie around, like an Obi. Juan Kenobi. He comes in, and he's got to check my heart anyway with a stethoscope. So, he, he undoes the tablecloth, and my brassiere is right there, right? So, like, I don't know what this tablecloth is doing there. It seems like it's just a, a time waster, first of all. You sit yourself, yourself out to, to let me don this, and then you come back and you have to undo it anyway, like you're opening the gift. So he says to me, Mrs. Uncle Franklin, I gotta look into your throat. <laughs> There ain't no way he's calling me by my first name because if I gotta call him Dr. Watson Stush, he's gonna call me Mr. Sankum Franklin. I don't have time for that. I said, but I didn't even come in here for a throatial related issue. And he said, don't matter, no well. Just I gotta check your throat. I got this spot in the top of my teeth. Just right, right like that. It's a great spot if you gotta brush off your teeth or whatever. And uh makes me feel a little bit like a Hank calls me his little unicorn when I do this. Well, the whole thing was just a bunch of allergies. There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine and I can't believe I went to the doctor. <laughs>